subscribe to Mathura's recipe and hit the bell icon to receive updates of all my new recipes. Hey everyone, welcome to Mathura's recipe. Today I am making khandvi. Uh, it is also called as a suradichi vadi in Marathi. And we are going to cook this in microwave and it gets ready in no time. It, you will be amazed to know how it is to make. Just 5 minutes that you need to prepare this khandvi in microwave. So in a bowl, I am taking a cup of besan that is chickpea flour followed by a cup of dahi that is yogurt curd mix this well once yogurt is well combined goes in half teaspoon of turmeric powder salt for taste and also add in water so I am adding half cup of water at first Mix that in. Just you have to keep mixing until it turns out into a smooth batter. We don't want to see any lumps of this basin. Now next we will add in this another half cup of water. Mix that in. Alright, now here this batter is all ready. Now I am going to pop this bowl into microwave for about one and a half minute at first. So total cooking time will vary in between 5 to 6 minutes and we are going to repeat the step of popping this bowl in microwave, microwave it for one and a half minute, take this out, mix that, again pop the, again cook it for one and a half minute, pull it out, again mix and pop in again. So this cooking time really varies depending on the uh, power or wattage of your microwave. So we just need to try it. Now we will go ahead and microwave. Just pull it out after about one and a half minute. And we need to give it a mix. Just you need to make sure there is no any lump of this basin. So you have to mix it really well. You can also use hand blender to mix this up. And after it's well combined, let's pop this back in microwave and microwave for another one and a half minute. And now again I'm going to mix this up. You can see now this batter has started to thicken up. And now again I'm going to cook this for the last time for just another one minute and this looks done now give it a one more mix now quickly take a tray so here I am using this baking tray add this batter on one corner of this pan And here I have this uh, steel spatula having flat edge. So we are going to quickly flatten this out like so. And once we are able to spread it nice and evenly, on one side of the pan, we are going to flip this over and spread this on the other side as well. So you have to keep mixing this batter one more time. And quickly 
spread this out. And you can uh, repeat the same step until this uh, batter is uh, over and instead of using this baking tray you can also use any uh, steel thali which is having uh, some deep edges. So you do not need to worry about cleaning so many plates at a time or you can also use aluminum foil. Alright so it has cooled down a little bit now let us roll that up. So first I am going to cut around the edges so that we get nice and even rolls perfect now let us cut this into about one or one and a half inch wide stripes like so just remove the edges Okay, I can roll this out too. <laughs> cool. So gently lift this up and start to roll this up like so. Awesome. Now flip over the tray and from this side also I am going to Alright, so over here this khandvi is all ready and it looks so nice. Now just a final step, we need to add some tempering and for that here I have preheated a tablespoon of oil. Now, in oil goes in half teaspoon of mustard seeds. Let them crackle, then sesame seeds half teaspoon. Hing that is asafoetida, a pinch of hing and 2 to 3 slit green chilies. This is temp this tempering is what adds awesome flavor in this khandvi. Now let us pour this over these rolls. Lovely. And garnish this with finely chopped coriander leaves and little bit of coconut awesome and this khandvi is ready in no time it just takes only 5 minutes to get ready in microwave so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and also you can join with us on our social handles like facebook instagram twitter thank you for watching see you soon bye bye